Scientists have discovered the largest dinosaur footprint ever found and it's one of thousands Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more on a remote shore in Western Australia a team of archaeologists are hard at work and with developers zoning in on the area the researchers know that they're up against the clock however buried in the bright red rock is something fascinating and incredibly ancient a find unrivaled anywhere else in the world back in 2008 the government of Western Australia was searching for a location for a controversial project hoping to harvest natural gases in the region it needed a site where it could process them in fact it was gearing up to spend an astonishing 30 billion dollars on the project eventually authorities started to look to Walmadani an area of the Kimberley region on Australia's Northwest coast however not everyone was happy with this new development the indigenous Gulara Balu people who live in Walmadani were worried about the impact that the project would have on their ancestral lands to the Gulara Balu Walmadani is a special place not least because they'd found mysterious footprints etched in the landscape there intrigued the people then incorporated the prints into one of their ancient song cycles telling the story of a dream time creator figure known as Marala or the emu man realizing that Walmadani was at risk the Gulara Balu contacted dr. Steve Salisbury a lecturer at the University of Queensland and at their request Salisbury began a five-year investigation that would see some incredible finds emerge from the region in fact as far back as the 1960s researchers had unearthed something unusual on the Dampier Peninsula where Walmadani is located there first imprinted into the earth millions of years ago were what seemed to be the footprints of dinosaurs indeed the region was thought by many to represent a potential treasure trove of prehistoric tracks by the 1990s researchers had identified the tracks of at least nine different types of dinosaur in the area among them were the telltale traces of theropods ornithopods sauropods and thyreophorans by this time then experts had begun to suspect that the peninsula represented one of the most diverse collections of dinosaur footprints ever discovered and over time even more reports began to emerge from the region apparently some claimed that as many as 16 different types of dinosaur tracks could be found in an area spanning some 125 miles however up until 2011 there had still been very little scientific research into those fascinating finds starting in 2011 Salisbury and his colleagues began a comprehensive investigation focusing on a 15 mile area around Walmadani by studying the tracks left in the region and utilizing a technique known as three-dimensional photogrammetry they were able to begin cataloging the footprints nevertheless the project was not without its hazards indeed while working in the area around Walmadani researchers had to contend with powerful tides not to mention dangerous animals in the form of sharks and crocodiles but finally in 2016 the project was completed in total the team had uncovered at least 11 different kinds of tracks in rocks dating from 127 to 140 million years ago together these finds are thought to make up the most important collection of dinosaur footprints in the whole of Western Australia in addition they're the country's only known significant record of life during the early Cretaceous period but this find isn't just special to Australia indeed it also represents the most diverse collection of dinosaur footprints in the entire world for Salisbury the discovery was an incredible one it's such a magical place he said in a March 2017 interview with the University of Queensland's website Australia's own Jurassic Park in a spectacular wilderness setting amazingly it would also turn out that Walmadani had yet another surprise in store for in among the tracks of stegosaurs and two-legged dinosaurs were some truly gigantic footprints some were an extraordinary five and a half feet long to be precise According to Salisbury, the prints belonged to a large, long necked sauropod whose hips would have stood 17 feet above the ground. In fact, researchers believed that the footprints were among the largest ever documented, and later they were able to prove that their instincts had been correct. Beating the previous record of a five foot long track discovered in the desert of Mongolia, the Walmadani prints have since been recognized as the biggest in the world. These prints, along with the others that crisscross the region, were made back when the area was a river delta so when dinosaurs walked over the land they left their prints in the soft wet sand over time sandstone rock was formed there and the prints were preserved ready to be discovered millions of years later 
What's more, at Walmadani, the inhabitants of the early Cretaceous period appear to have been particularly active. There are huge areas around that coastline where all you can see are dinosaur tracks, Salisbury told ABC News. Of course, researchers soon determined that the proposed development in the area could pose a threat to such important finds. It didn't take us long to realize that there was a spectacular dinosaur track fauna preserved that was at risk, Salisbury added. Thankfully, salvation came in 2013. Apparently, Woodside Petroleum, which was hoping to develop the area, had a change of heart. In a statement in April of that year, it announced that the project was not believed to be financially viable and that consequently the firm would not be proceeding with it. Now, Salisbury hopes that his work in the region will help to draw responsible tourism to the area. In the future, probably the best way for people to see what's at Walmadani is to do it on country through something like the Lurajari Heritage Trail, he said. The Lurajari Heritage Trail was launched by Galura Baloo leader Patty Rowe back in 1987. It was seen as a way to rekindle the aboriginal tradition of walking in rural areas, and today it attracts visitors from around the world keen to hike its 56-mile length over the course of nine days. With the significance of this latest discovery, Rowe's descendants can expect even more people to want to explore Walmadani and its fascinating history.